Hello YouTube, this is Mike with PhoneJunkie.org. Here I'm just bringing you a little quick app review here. I have had a couple people ask me, um, you know, what cameras do I use for my videos? Uh, what audio do I use, or what audio software do I use to record? Uh, just basic questions like that. Um, first off, I like to say I do use a Canon uh, DSLR. Um, I'm just using a basic T4i, which is an entry level camera. There are more expensive ones out there, uh, but the T4i is one with the uh, one of the first ones uh, to come to market that you can use the STM. Um, there are some good products out there like the um, sound recorders, like the H4n, things like that, that I believe are a necessity when you're you know out shooting weddings for photographers and videographers, things like that. Um, but for me, just shooting my basic YouTube videos. I actually have a program on here and it's called Recorder Plus. Now they do have a free version I believe but you don't get as much of the features things like that. I believe after upgrading I believe it was $10 total um, and I actually find this one to work out pretty well for me. Alright so here's the main layout of the, fee or of the uh, application. When you first go into it this is what you're going to see. You have your timer up here. You have this if you would like to add a photo, something to help you file it, um, or just whatever. Then you tap right here. You can edit the name. So we can just do test. Hit done. Here's your record button. And then down here on the bottom, you have a play if you have any markers this will be highlighted um, you can import it if you want to export your recording and this is if you want to append original files at the end this button will take you back to your list of pre-recorded recordings uh, this is where you file what folder you like it to go in so I'm going to put it under phone reviews this is your settings here now this is where you can change the rate let me see if I can get that closer for you alright so you see it says 8k 11k 22k all the way up to 96k and that's what I record as 96k at 24 bit depth and I export it as a WAV file and you can do mp4 but that is a compressed file so I go with wave which is uncompressed so I just hit done there alright so let's say we are just gonna practice test here now this one has already been recorded so once you hit this one it starts a new one I wish it would actually give you a option to go back here and then click new but unfortunately you just have to go to the recording screen and hit record and it starts a new one for you so once after you're done recording you are done recording on that unless you want to unless you hit the pause button then hit resume so now we can continue recording but once you hit the stop button um, and I don't know of a way so if you guys know of a way or if you've used this app uh, please leave in the comments but I do not know of a way to continue recording on this file so it starts a new one so we'll hit this one test one since we technically didn't use the other one so let's say if we wanted to keep recording on this one there's no I don't know a way of it because once you hit record it starts a new file for you so unless you hit the pause button there's no way to continue recording on this file so I hit stop and it started the last one we just did now here is a way to share the file you just hit export you can use it through Wi-Fi email um, email is not that good for larger files as it will not send it I'm not sure what the max is but on most of mine it will not send so I have to go through Wi-Fi or you can do iTunes sync and so on but let's go ahead and play this one and it starts a new one for you so once after you're done recording you are done recording on that unless you want to unless you hit the so now we can continue recording 
So as you can see, the quality actually there is very good. Uh, the iPhone 5 has the dual canceling, the dual noise canceling uh, microphones. So the way it actually works is, is that they have a microphone that picks up all the noise in the back and it's supposed to cancel that out. Um, something along those lines. So and it actually works very well. And this is actually the audio that you hear on most of my newer videos now, except this one, because I'm obviously doing a review on it. But on a lot of my old, or not old videos, but all my newer videos before this one, this is actually what I use. And I upload it uh, to my computer, and then I edit it either using iMovie or Adobe Premiere Pro. Now if you guys do have any questions or comments on this, uh, please just leave it in the comments below. Again, this is just a quick review of my opinion. This is something I use and I definitely uh, give it my approval. So you all have a good day and thank you for subscribing.